Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are, again, in our second year. Uh, delighted to be here back in uh, Salisbury for the uh, Governor's Challenge. Um, listen, an event like this is not an easy thing uh, to put together, uh, so we're just overwhelmingly um, appreciative, and much of what I want to say uh, this afternoon extends, you know, more so gratitude and appreciation to uh, Wicomico County. And um, when you're putting together an event like this, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I have a full-scale team that helps us to do that. But um, what I really want to say is um, to ask you all to join me and give a hand to uh, James uh, Simmons here, who has done much, much of our work here. And I just wanted to uh, recognize he uh, and his staff uh, for all the efforts. Um, as James has, says, has said, uh, we have uh, 100 teams, just about 100 teams. Uh, we set out last year, we said 50 teams, and we made 50 teams. Uh, we set out this time around, and we said 100 teams, and uh, we've made 100 teams. And we want to try to expand it every year, so we hope the uh, coaches in high schools uh, in the area will be ready for that because we will obviously need, you know, access to other facilities to be able to uh, put an event like this on. Um, also, I wanted to extend uh, further uh, thank you to uh, all of the uh, local uh, local media. Uh, Spencer and his uh, ABC News 4017. Can we give them a round of applause for doing a lot of good work for us? Uh, as well? Um, all of the uh, photographers and uh, web media representatives. Uh, the event can be an event without uh, having some, you know, excitement and promotion around it. And we've just reached out to as many um, sources as we could, and they all jumped on board. And that's what helped us to uh, move some of the teams uh, much further away uh, this way for uh, this particular event. Um, I'm going to close, but. Um, one of the things I think you can look forward to um, moving forward, you know, with next year's event and beyond is uh, postgraduate play. Um, we think that's uh, very positive as postgraduate uh, teams are evolving um, and becoming more relevant around the country. We've gotten uh, an overwhelming and increasingly um, uh, interest in DMV Elite uh, showcase events. Uh, from prep school teams, uh, postgraduate teams. So we believe that we may, um, you know, have a uh, future bracket uh, for that level of play. It may take a little bit of uh, formatting, but uh, that's something that James and I have uh, spoken about. So we hope that will help to uh, raise up the Governor's Challenge one more time to maybe 125 teams next year, per se. Okay, great. But listen, thank you all again. Thank you, coaches, players. Parents, friends, family, everyone for uh, making the Governor's Challenge a huge success. Thanks, Gary. And real quickly, I forgot to uh, thank Executive Culver here, our Comfort County Executive, for joining us today, too. We appreciate you being here. Um, so at this time, we're going to wrap this portion of it up and, and open it up to you, media, to travel around and, and get your interviews with the local teams here. Um, We'll, we'll be coming around to each table to grab you guys for some pictures as well as some one-on-one -on -one interviews up here, but uh, media, feel free to 